In last videos we have discussed about synthetic fibers that are nylon, rayon, polyester and acrylic. Now the next part of this chapter is plastic. Plastic is also a polymer like the synthetic fiber. All plastics do not have the same type of arrangement of units. In some it is linear whereas in others it is cross linked. Plastic articles are available in all possible shapes and sizes. So plastic is also a polymer means poly is nothing but many. Mer means part. Plastic is also many parts of unit it is. It is a synthetic fiber. It is just like a synthetic fiber. All plastics do not have the same type of arrangement of unit. It may be a linear type and other it is crossed link. Plastic articles are available in all possible shapes and sizes. So linear arrangement of plastic means long continuous change of carbon carbon bond. As you can see here the linear arrangement of plastic long continuous change chain of the carbon carbon bond. And the cross link arrangement chains are crossed link and material become more rigid. The fact is that plastic is easily moldable that is can be shaped in any form. Plastic can be recycled, reused, colored, melted, rolled into sheets or made into wires. That is why it finds such a variety of uses. Here the main thing is here yeah, plastic is easily moldable means we can give any shape to the plastic. Plastic can be recycled, reused, colored, melted and rolled into sheets. In metals and non-metals chapter we have learnt one terminology that is malleability. Means which can be rolled into sheets. Metals can be rolled into sheets. That is malleable. Here also the plastics can be rolled into sheets. They are malleable or made into wires means ductile. That is why it finds such a variety of uses. When we add hot water to a plastic bottle, it gets deformed. Deformed means changes shape. Such plastics which get, which get deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily are known as thermoplastics. Polythene and PVC are some, some of the example of thermoplastic. Whenever we are adding hot water to the plastic bottle, it changes the shape. Such plastics which get deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily are known as thermoplastic. Here the example of thermoplastic are polythene and PVC pipe. PVC means polyvinyl chloride are some of the examples of thermoplastics. On the other hand, there are some plastics which when molded once cannot be softened by heating. These are called Thermosetting plastics. Two examples are bakelite and melamine. As we have seen, thermoplastic that is nothing but the plastic. Whenever we are heating that plastic, it bends easily and it gets deformed. That is thermoplastic. But in the case of thermosetting plastics, once we have heated, once we have molded that plastic, that cannot be softened by heating once again. That is called as thermosetting plastics. And the examples of thermosetting are bakelite and melamine. Now we will discuss first the bakelite, the example of thermosetting plastic. Bakelite is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. It is used for making electrical switches, handles of various utensils. So, bakelite is one of the poor conductor of heat. Means the heat will not pass in that bakelite plastic and electricity also. It is used for making electrical switches, handles of various utensils. As you can see here, these bangles are poor conductor of heat and electricity. Is a bangle of bakelite plastic. Okay, these all are the examples of the bakelite thermosetting plastic. The main characters are here. The bakelite is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. So, the next example of the thermosetting plastic is melamine. 
Melamine is a versatile material. Versatile material means adaptable or changeable material. It resists fire and can tolerate heat better than other plastic. It is used for making floor tiles, kitchenware and fabric which resist fire. Means which stops the fire. Okay. This melamine is a versatile material. Means adaptable or changeable material. It resists. Resist means which stop or which oppose fire and can tolerate heat better than other plastic. It is used for making floor tiles, kitchenware and fabric which resist fire. As you can see here the utensils, kitchen utensils are made up of the melamine plastic. These all are the utensils which are made by the melamine plastic. Next, plastic as a material of choice. Why everyone's first choice is plastic only? Because being lighter as compared to metals, plastics are used in cars, aircraft and spacecraft too. The list is endless. If we start counting articles like slippers, furniture, de decoration pieces etc. So the first choice of everyone is plastic only because it is a lighter when we compare to other metal. It's the lightest weight. Plastics are used in car, aircraft and spacecraft. Means this aircraft, aeroplane, helicopter, spacecraft are the vehicles used for traveling in space. Plastic is non-reactive. Metals like iron get rusted when left exposed to moisture and air. But plastics do not react with water and air. They are not corroded easily. Corroded means damage or destroy easily. That is why they are used to store various kinds of material including many chemicals because it is not non-reactive. Plastic is light, strong and durable. Since plastic is very light, strong, durable. Durable means for a long time we can use that material and can be molded into different shapes and sizes. It is used for various purposes. Plastics are generally cheaper than metals. They are widely used in industry and for household articles. Because of this all reason the plastic is as a material of choice. Because of this everyone's first choice is plastic only. Plastics are poor conductors. Plastics are poor conductors of heat and electricity. That is why electrical wires have plastic covering and handles of screwdrivers are made of plastic. As mentioned above, handles of frying pans are also made of plastic. Already we have learned about these poor conductors. Means the plastic is one of the insulator. Plastic is one of the insulator means what? It's one of the outer covering. Insulator means where the electricity will not pass. Okay. Here the plastic is poor conductor. Means it's a insulator where the electricity will not pass. Means it resists the electricity. Heat and electricity. That's why electrical wires. The electrical wires means that copper is covered by the plastic. Because to avoid the shock. And handles of the screwdriver are made of the plastic. A material which now we'll see the plastics and the environment. A material which gets decomposed through natural processes such as an action by bacteria is called biodegradable. A material which is not easily decomposed by natural process is termed not biodegradable. So here we'll discuss the plastic and the environment. A material which get decomposed means decay or destroy the material which destroy by natural process just by the bacteria that is called as biodegradable okay and a material which get destroyed which get destroyed that is called as biodegradable by action of bacteria but a material which is not easily destroyed by a natural process that is called as non-biodegradable 
as you can see here the biodegradable means the peels of the vegetables and the fruits they get destroyed by action of bacteria so they are considered as a biodegradable material and here the paper also and wood but non biodegradable the plastic the glass bottles and the metal cans they are not destroying easily so they are non biodegradable material so next the type of waste approximate time taken to degenerate and nature of material here degenerate means something that has lost the quality now you see the biodegradable and non biodegradable material how much time they will take to degenerate means to lost their quality how much time they will take to lose their quality first the type of waste is peels of vegetables and fruits left over food stuff already we know that the peels of vegetables and fruits will comes under the biodegradable why because they will destroy by the action of bacteria how much time they will take 1 to 2 weeks to destroy to degenerate to lose the quality next paper is also comes under biodegradable 10 to 30 days cotton cloth 2 to 5 month biodegradable wood 10 to 15 years biodegradable and woolen clothes about a year it's also biodegradable and tin aluminum and other metal cans they will take 100 to 500 years to degenerate is a non biodegradable because by action of bacteria this material will not destroy and plastic bags they will take several years to degenerate non biodegradable since plastic takes several years to decompose it is not environment friendly it causes environmental pollution besides the burning process in the synthetic material is quite slow and it does not get completely burnt easily in the process it releases lots of poisonous fumes into the atmosphere causing air pollution so here the plastic is not environment friendly okay why because it causes environmental pollution whenever we are burning the plastic synthetic material plastic it not get completely burnt easily okay something stuff is releases there that is nothing but it releases lots of the poisonous fumes into the atmosphere causing a pollution as you can see here the plastic pollution the if you are not using the plastic okay there is a no pollution no plastic pollution environmental pollution avoid the use of plastics as far as possible make use of bags made of cotton or jute when you go for shopping the biodegradable and non biodegradable waste should be collected separately and disposed of separately it is better to recycle plastic waste most of the thermoplastics can be recycled make a list of items that can be recycled so first if you if you want to maintain our environment clean we should avoid the use of the plastics as far as possible we should take the use of the cotton and jute bags for shopping and we should collect separately the biodegradable and non biodegradable waste for recycling process okay next now the last thing as a responsible citizen remember the fire principle what is that fire principle reduce reuse recycle recover and refuse develop habits which are environment friendly so here the fire principle reduce means what we should reduce the use of non biodegradable compounds that are harmful to us means we should reduce we should take less use of those components for example instead of using polythene bags we should give preference to paper bag okay that's a reduce next reuse means we should reuse the material instead of dumping if once we have used that material once again we have to take the use of that material for example plastic bag can be reused to make decorative things next recycle non biodegradable material should be 
subjected to the recycling process. For example, plastic material. Next, recover. If the waste remains after it is been reused. If once we have taken use of the plastic, once again we are using after using two times of so. If that waste is remains, we can use it to generate energy at our waste energy plant. This is known as recovery. Next, last, refuse. Refuse means avoid purchasing. We should avoid the purchasing of plastic. Okay, develop habits which are environment friendly. Fiber wise, do not throw plastic bags in the water bodies or on the road. Take a cotton carry bag or a jute bag while going for shopping. Try to minimize the use of plastic material. For example, use a steel lunch box instead of plastic one. So by all these points, we can give the conclusion that we should take the less use of the plastic to maintain our environment clean. By this, this synthetic fiber and the plastic chapters will complete.